So this last uh, Friday, the family and I went on a, a hike. And like any good hike, you don't realize what you're in for until about halfway through it and you start feeling the uh, soreness in your legs. And then by the time you get back to the car, you're thinking, yeah, that's a good hike. Uh, my calves are kind of burning. And then it's the next morning when you wake up and you're having a hard time walking, you go, yeah, that, that was a really good hike. I'm, re I'm really feeling the pain. It got me thinking that, uh, you know, when you don't do something all that all the time, when you don't train for something, uh, you get out of shape and uh, your body's not able to kind of get things done like maybe you'd want it to. And I was thinking this morning when it comes to the Lord's Supper and our communion, I'm thinking this is a similar thing that we come together weekly in remembrance of what was done for us. And, and if we weren't commanded to, to, to have this remembrance, to do this weekly, how it's just human nature that we would get out of shape and we would forget what's been done for us. And I'm thankful that we do have this time that we can come together to just remember and, and just pray that we will never forget what was done for us, that we'll never forget the sacrifice that was done on our behalf, that Christ sacrificed himself for us on the cross. And that if we just train ourselves to always keep that at the forefront of our mind, that we would lead a life that shows that we understand what was done for us and that it wasn't just a, a sacrifice that was done in the past, but that it prepares for the future, that we know with confidence we have a home in heaven because of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. Because of his blood spilled on the cross, we're presented clean before God and have a heaven to look forward to. Let's go to God in prayer and just thankfulness for what's been done for us. Heavenly Father, we approach you this morning just praying that we'll never forget the sacrifice that was done for us. We pray that we'll always remember that the love that was shown for us uh, as Christ sacrificed his body on the cross and that, uh, and that what that means for us, and securing our home in heaven, Lord. We ask that you would bless this bread that we're about to partake of representing Christ's body. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Let's continue our prayer. Heavenly Father, uh, we're so grateful that uh, of your grace and your mercy demonstrated through your son's sacrifice on the cross. We're so grateful that you have wanted that relationship for us from the very beginning, that, you, that you've reached out to us, Lord, and we just pray that uh, we'll keep that forever in our, in our mind and in our hearts that that you want that place for us and that you want us to be with you in heaven, Lord. And we're so grateful that we can look back to the cross and that blood that was spilled that we, we know with confidence that that allows us to be with you. Lord, we ask that you would bless this fruit of the vine representing Christ's bloodshed. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.